So the video, the long-awaited video is here, right? <laughs> I don't know how many people have been long awaiting it, but <laughs> this is the uh, follow-up review of the 6500EXs, so the EG4 6500EXs. If any of you have watched my previous video on these, uh, where I installed them, I did not have a good experience with them. I had a lot of problems with my lights, um, and so it was my dimmer switches. I don't know if I clarified enough in that, but it was anything that was hooked to a dimmer switch. I actually had incandescent bulbs and LEDs, and all of them were strobing. And at the time, Signature Solar really didn't have a fix for that. Uh, but soon after, they came out with a firmware update uh, that, that remedied the issue. Um, in the meantime, though, I had sent the inverters back. Um, and so since then, Signature Solar apologized for the way things panned out. They refunded me in full, and they asked if I'd be willing to review a new pair of these inverters. And I was willing, so I said yes. Um, and so they, they sent me another pair, and the luck I have, <laughs> I ended up having um, some errors with those. It was a F80 error that I was getting. It may have only been one inverter, but it, it kept popping a code randomly when solar would like come from behind clouds. So not if it ramped up, but more if it was sudden. And it was random throughout the day. I couldn't really trace why it was happening. So I had to send those inverters back. Um, and I believe Signature Solar has, uh, they've tracked down what that issue is. And when they contact me with that, I will put that in the description below so that people can understand if they're having that issue. If, I, I think it's pretty rare. But since then, I've actually seen I believe it's two people now with MPP versions that have that error code. So when they sent me these new inverters, uh, I have not had that issue at all. They charge, they discharge just fine. So as far as the flashing lights, I don't have a problem with that either. They are working great. So with one little caveat, I did have them flash a little bit the other night briefly. The evening, I guess. It wasn't quite, the sun wasn't quite down. And I think maybe it's an issue maybe with a circuit at this point, something I could trace down if I cared enough. Uh, but they appear to be working great. I may switch the bulbs out if I'm curious enough. But yeah, I'm not having any problem with them all at all. They're, they're working great. So I would give them definitely a, a two thumbs up. They are what I was hoping for originally, an upgraded version of an MPP LV6548. So one that is capable of 500 volts open circuit. So then I would want to cover, I want to cover that the fact that this wasn't just an issue of the performance of the equipment, but also a communication problem with Signature Solar. So I've had quite a few conversations with them. I would say if, if you've been through something with them, if you're curious, a little apprehensive that you should go on the solar forum and just um, take a look at they've got a lot of staff on there now and just see what they're doing to remedy some of their communication problems they've had in the past and how they're moving forward with it and what they're doing on the forum to, to keep people uh, informed and aware of things so that's what that's how i would cover that part um, and then the final part would be would I buy an MPP version or an EG4 version of these? And I would say some of that's going to come down to preference. So some of it's going to be equipment. Do you need the 500 volts or near it with cold weather? Um, if, if your array is far away, if you want a, a smaller wire size, there's, there's some considerations to take in there. Uh, and then preference as far as who have you shopped with in the past? Who are you comfortable with? If it's current connected or watts 24 seven, uh, those are gonna play a part probably in, and they should play a part in, in, in what you purchase. Um, these, these are working really nice. I'm really liking these inverters. So uh, if I had to do it again, I would, I would get these based off um, my experience with these. But again, I realize that there's a lot of preference involved and, and different things. So that about wraps that portion of it up. I'm really excited for a number of reasons. One, uh, yeah, these are working great. Two, I'm going to be able to put that ductwork in. I wanted to get all of this straight. 
um, get a review out to everyone and let them know. Um, so once the duct work is in, I've got a couple half uh, reviews I've already finished. So looking to complete them. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. But yeah, I just wanted to get this squared away first. And I'm extremely happy that they're doing this well. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.